persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuan Zell. My workers call her Nimhi, the poisoned one. If you deal with Nimhi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a relatively easy mission in Skyrim that opens things up for the character you play and the ability to gather dwarven metal and actually make some more, how shall I say, um, more defensive armor. Dwarven armor, Dwemer armor, far more superior in reducing damage than plain steel. And this is why I decided to fast travel to Markarth, even though I'm showing Rift in here, and go talk to Kelsimo and go down and kill Nimi so I could get better armor. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a way to exploit the game and level your character up faster if you so choose. I used to use these exploits, and I don't use them anymore because, well, it made the game a little too boring. And playing like a person who has no idea what these exploits are, has made it a little more interesting and challenging. So let's get on with the mission and kill Nimi and get some dwarven armor made. In order to get to the dwarven ruins, you have to enter Markarth and then go to the palace and talk to Kalsimo. You'll see a few other NPCs talking and, well, they involve the Hall of the Dead, etc. Kind of another mission that you can go on eventually. And then you go and you talk to Kelsimo and fight Nimi. So I'm going to fast forward to the Kelsimo conversation. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. Nishuan Zell? The ruins underneath Markarth? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuan Zell. My workers call her Nimhi, the poisoned one. If you deal with Nimhi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key to the dig site. Once you get to the dig site, uh, you can go and fight Nimi. You notice there's some Dwarven or Dwemer garbage lying around. That's important. If you have certain stuff you can melt down to make dwarven ingots and some of this stuff i'm just going to leave behind i'm going to grab the pickaxe because that is necessary and i'll all that junk that i passed by i'll deal with at the end but you walk through and you get to the mine usually there's yep there's a potion of healing and nothing else. There's going to be some places where you can dig up some ore. 
and one of them is around here. But you'll fight some spiders, and you eventually get to fight Mimi. And it, it's just a real simple, simple, um, how shall I say, mission. I'm going to come up here. Ah, there's some iron ore to mine. Ah, there's the frostbite spider fight. Spider slain. That was very quick. I'm going to mine the iron ore because actually you will need iron ingots and steel ingots to help make dwarven armor. And the only thing that requires just pure dwarven metal ingots is the bowl. Otherwise, you're going to wind up with needing iron and steel to make armor. And again, getting these ingredients and getting them to smelt for free rather than buying them is a good thing. Now, I'm picking up some dwarven junk here. A bowl can be sold. The gears, cogs, switches, gyro gyros gyroscopes, etc. Those, um, if you gather up enough of them and store them somewhere, eventually you will have a mission where you need to get 10 of them and, or 10 of whatever, whatever garbage you have. Kill these spiders. They're difficult and Nimi is going to be real difficult. I'll show you the strategy to fight her once I heal up and gather some frostbite venom. You see some more dwarven junk. Always egg sacs, spider eggs are good for making some real nasty concoctions. There's conundrum, which if you mix with iron, makes steel. And again, you're gonna need iron and steel ingots in order to make Dwemer armor. And once I get what I need, I'll craft some Dwemer armor and weapons and have a more consistent character. Solid. This stuff I'm gathering, bent Dwemer scrap metal. This stuff you can melt down into Dwemer ingots. And now to take on Nimi. Nothing here to pick up anymore. Uh, yeah, now it's time to go to Nimi. I have healed. And I'm going to switch, cut through these webbing, and then I'm going to switch to my bowl and sneak up and shoot Nimi. And you want to stay away from Nimi as much as possible. You walk down this hall, and once she drops from the ceiling, Yep, there she is. Pull back. You're detected. Get as far back as you can. She only can hit you with poison then and not physically hurt you. And you just keep shooting arrows until she's dead. Actually, Nimi does regenerate and come back. If you don't come back to this area after a while, she will return. Now, the reason you're going to wind up coming back to this is you see this dead Imperial soldier and this note. Well, let's see, that's not an egg sack, but once you look at this, this is the guy. Note he was from an expedition that was going to go deeper into the runes. You recover a journal and some other stuff. This webbing right here, yeah, you'll have to cut through that in order to go deeper into the runes. Now, I'm not going to go into them, but yeah, once you cut through this webbing, you see that entrance right there. You can go down deeper into these runes. 
You want to bring someone with because there's going to be a lot of Dwemer scrap metal. Now let's get back to picking up Dwemer junk here. I already picked up the junk here. Now I'm going to run back and pick up other junk. Now pick up all the junk. Like you said, whether it's the cogs, the levers, scrap metal, pick it all up. Why? Because it, some of it won't melt down, but some of it will be useful for you in the future at some point. Again, you'll meet some guy and he will want 10 Dwemer gyroscopes to examine as part of his overall um, master plan. Now I'm going to dump off the pickaxe, which I don't need, and all this other stuff I have, the bowls I can sell, the cogs, gear, you know, gyro or whatever, gyro. Yeah, you know, I'm going to dump something else and then move on to talk to Calcimo and give him the information I found. Oh, really? Hmm. This looks like someone from Stubbin's little group. A brave scholar, but not very wise. If you find Stubbin, it would be good to see any notes he may have collected. I doubt you'll find him alive, though. Okay, if you entered so into the rooms the deeper, you would find these adventurers in Stabin or whoever Calcimo um, tells you about. Uh, those journals, whatever, you'll find them, give them to him. It's a later mission. Again, Nini will reappear. Now, I'm going to go and smelt those dwarven ingots so that I can make Dwarven Armor. Busy with the smell. Don't get involved in that nonsense. Just want mullish. Big orc fella. Can't miss him. Mm-hmm. Got metal to shape. Mm-hmm. Great way to make ingots, and now you've got the conundrum, you make the dwarven metal, bent scrap metal, they equal so many ingots of dwarven metal. You want to make iron, again you're going to need iron, and ah crap, I should have made a steel. Now that I've done that, I'm going to see if I can go make what I need. Like I said, bows are the only one thing that you need, just pure dwarven metal ingots. Now this is where I'm going to talk to uh, this lady here after she's done chastising her uh, apprentice. Yeah, this is getting along. You thought what? You would skip a step, not heat the metal all the way through? Jesus. Now do it again. Don't bother me. Tacitus? Boys and Imperial. I keep showing how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the Imperial Smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Wisdom of the old, I guess. If you find a book called The Last Scabbard of Akrish, could you bring it to me? Tacitus sure isn't learning by example. The book is a side quest, and if you help Gorzu Gru Bal out, uh, it gets you to be a thane. You help out the citizens. And these side quests are a little important. And I'm having a little conversation with her. Uh, now I'm going to buy a... Uh, again, the conversation with her. Now I'm going to buy some stuff from her so that I can... Uh, Make some Dwemer armor. <laughs> and, yeah. God, the conversations are a little long. You can also train with her in smithing up to a certain level. 
Now, what I'm going to buy from her is I got plenty of, I'm going to sell the ore and the ingot I'm going to keep, but I'm not going to sell her any of this junk. I'm going to wind up, I want to make some, I'll sell her the steel, steel dagger, etc. Not a lot. Now, I'm not going to buy ingots from her, but I'm going to need iron from her. And some other stuff, unfortunately, I don't have any money, so I'm going to make some free leather strips and stuff that I will eventually need. Again, I'm going to have to wait to make the armor, and I'm going to jump to that point. Now I'm going to do some crafting here. And the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at what I'm going to need in order to craft dwarven armor. Well, the bow I can craft right away. It only requires, now, armor, leather strips, and iron ore. Uh, arrows cost firewood, etc. Daggers, guard, you know, this is all going to cost steel and iron. Oh, I can make a helmet. No, I can't. Again, I need steel ingots and iron ingots in order to properly craft dwarven armor. And I'm going to go craft some dwarven arrows by getting my axe out of Bree's home. Ah, there's Lucia. Could I keep him? Please? You're the best. Thanks. Once I bought Bree's home, I adopted Lucia. And this video is actually. Before I married Camilla. And yeah, I did this video after the marriage. But I did eventually marry Camilla. And well, you know, I'm going to dump off some stuff here that I don't need. Uh, I believe I have enough iron and other stuff to craft my dwarven armor. Again, I'm going to chop some wood here and get the woodcutter's axe in order to, well, what am I gathering up here? Yeah. I'm going to get back to crafting the dwarven armor. Okay, I'm going to buy some steel ingots and hopefully, if I figured it out right, I need about four, five, six of them, and then I can craft my armor and sell the, yep, I'm going to armor, boots, gauntlets, uh, helmet, I think I've got everything I need here, now I'm going to sell off what have you got for sale? I'm going to sell off. Yeah, I'm going to need iron, so I got to buy back on iron here. And that's what I think I need. I miscalculated. I thought I had it. I'm going to tan some leather. Yeah, let's get this thing rolling here. And I'm going to forge dwarven armor I already have. Helmet, I already have, I believe, uh, swords, yep, I'm going to make two swords, and now I'm going to use a potion of Fortify Smithing, and I'm going to modify the swords, the bow, superior, yep, superior, Superior, and now I'm going to modify the armor while the effects of the potion are good. Boom. Yep, got everything I need. And I can trade out armor and sell it off to make some more money. You met my father. I helped my. 
Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Just an exploit here. If you want to level up your character, it only takes two dwarven metal ingots to make a dwarven bow. And one of the exploits is you gather up all of the garbage and you smelt it down. You know, once you comb a dwarven rune, you smelt it down make ingots, and then go, and for two Dwemer ingots, you make bows. And if you have 30, 40 Dwemer ingots, yeah, you can make a lot of bows. Not only do you get your smithing up quickly, but you also get your bows made, and you can sell those bows for money. Now, I'm going to make some Dwarven arrows here. And that's why I grabbed the woodcutter axe. But again, the exploit for getting your smithing skills up, go to Dwemer Runes and gather up all the Dwemer garbage and smelt it down. Now, I'm just dumping these notes into this garbage bin that I don't need. And I'm going to actually fast forward. I believe I recorded another exploit that I can point out. But if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, I post four a week. And you don't want to miss out. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will be notified when I post videos. Again, I'm going to do another exploit after this. But I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by. Hey, I promised another exploit, and you are outside of Mark Karth, I believe. Yeah, it would be Mark Karth. And normally the caravan would be sitting right here, the uh, Gashik caravan. But by this wall, around this wall next to the caravan um trading caravan there is a hidden chest here i'm trying to find it and locate it it's a little difficult and you gotta pay attention to the ground first person view and you just gotta move the icon around once you get there it is okay right there search chest now this has all the stuff the Khajiq would trade with you or sell to you. I used to use these invisible chests and take everything out of value, gold, anything. And I would, you know, do the disenchant of the weapons. And if I already had the enchantment, I would sell off everything, make lots of money, and exploit this kind of flaw. There's another hidden chest in Dawnstar. Once I get there, I will show you, but it's right here next to Mark Karth where the Khajiq caravan is. And again, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by.